speakers, moderators, and respondents, the distinguished guests, dignitaries, including many of the vice chancellors, participant scholars from foreign countries, and from various parts of India. More than 200 alumni have come from different parts of the world. In India, international living philosophical schools is a mini tradition. This has brought many fruitful results in neuroscience, psychology, clinical research, education, and health. It is widely being felt that this trend of research is bringing a revolution in the world which will have a deep impact on every aspect of our life. Dear respected, I think your sisters and brothers, <laughs> and then the rest of brothers, sisters, indeed, A great honor to come to participate this, I think, important meeting. Now, I want to start with my talk. Now we are beginning of 21st century. Over a thousand years, we human beings use intelligence, sometimes more destructive way. I think a very concept of war exists only human species of mammal, no other. Some monkey, some animal may have, but not that kind of destructive. So now we still century old or habit whenever we find some disagreement or some different interest, we still believe use force. Now that thinking, century old that thinking, is according new reality, that thinking is outdated. Seven billion human beings they have to live on this planet. And the future of the Eastern world depends on the West. West depends East, uh, similarly, North and South. And then uh, the global economy. National boundary, not important. Then, on top of that, global warming. These are the more serious sort of new development. So now time will come. You see, we must develop conviction. The use force is outdated. Any differences among human brothers and sisters must solve through talk, through dialogue. So I usually describe this 21st century in order to create a peaceful century, we must develop this century should be century of dialogue. So nowadays, dialogue, not science of weakness, but wisdom, more realistic. Today's sort of reality even you have nuclear power, use nuclear weapon, then not like ancient time. Ancient time, war means destroy your enemy. That is victory over yourself. Now today's reality, if you use sort of these immense powerful weapon, mutual destruction. So now thinking, 
old thinking is outdated. Unfortunately, now, today's world, still, you see, people consider weapon is important. Produce more weapon and spend more money for military purpose. Uh, I think now uh, we people who totally committed about peace, uh, about the well-being of humanity, now we have some special responsibility. Then these are the problem. Why now that happening is our intelligence not properly used? Uh, our intelligence, marvelous human intelligence, now become disposal of anger, self-centered attitude. So now here, you see, we have the responsibility, and our main response, main sort of purpose is discuss how to introduce our younger generation more compassionate mind, combine combination, compassion, and intelligence. These two things must go together. So frankly speaking, existing modern education system, I feel uh, very much oriented about the material value, not talking about our inner value. So now, inner value is concerned. Of course, I respect all religions. Wonderful. Thousand years, you see, various different traditions brings immense sort of inspiration to human being. Still, but uh, now, the Indian tradition, uh, where the spiritual tradition, including uh, shamatha, practice of shamatha, practice of vipassana, automatically involve about, um, about knowledge, about our emo emotion, about mind. Uh, the very purpose of Vipassana, analyze the reality. And then Shamatha, channelize our mental energy. So, Indian tradition, where practice of Shamatha and Vipassana, automatically, more explanation about human mind, about the human emotion. Uh, these traditionally come from religious text, because of context. But now we should consider these are academic subject, not religious subject. It's a more knowledge about our emotion. With that, uh, we are become better positioned to tackle about this emotion. Now today's world, a lot of problem. Actually, our own creation. No human being want problem. And now some scientists say, basic human nature is more compassionate. Uh, so that's really a hopeful sign. So now the problem is education, not talking about this inner value. Uh, so therefore, the in, from Indian tradition, knowledge about uh, psychology, uh, emotion, these things, I think uh, not only ancient one, but very, very use relevant to this world, I feel. So now we should be more active. Hmm? At these big sort of academician sort of meeting, wonderful, but we should not forget while we are here, peaceful, happy, same human being, killing. Just a neighbor, Afghanistan and Syria. And then Yemen, millions of children dying due to conflict like that. And we saw, you see, these 
dying children. Oh, then we are part of the humanity. Some, somewhere in the same planet, same human being suffer. We cannot remain kasa, indifferent. We have to think seriously. So now, time come, we need sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. And we, as a Buddhist, Buddhist practitioner, whether successful or not, <laughs> we suppose Buddhist practitioner. <laughs> so we always pray, entire sentient being. But in reality, the only seven billion human beings, we can do something. Other limitless sentient beings, only prayer, nothing can be done. Uh, so, seven on this planet, such a limitless, different sentient being, we can't do anything. Just prayer. Only now possibility is six, seven billion human beings. We have same human brain, human language, so we can share our experience. The inner peace is so important, even for our health. Oh. So everybody take care of one's own health. So now these days I'm telling the hygiene of physical, we usually learning. So now very important, hygiene of emotion must include, not talking about a nirvana or next life, just this very life. More healthier body, mentally happier, then one individual transform that way, the combination of human being, then human community, then national, the nation, nations, then finally seven billion human beings. So I'm hoping this kind of conference is a serious discuss the present our crisis. Uh, not sufficient just to repeat past, oh. <laughs> past is past. <laughs> now, we, this is the beginning of the 21st century. If we make a certain effort uh, with the vision and the systematic sort of plan, there is possibility some change. So that I want to, to share with you. That's all. Thank you.